Welcome back. This video is on volcanology and volcanoes. And we're looking at connecting all of the terms and characteristics and properties of a generic volcano and applying these to different types of volcanoes and how each volcano erupts, the style of eruption, and trying to connect all the dots to understand volcanology. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So for each unit of study in my classroom, I like to have these large post-it paper boards that can display and give the students information and assistance throughout the unit on various key terms and words and processes. Now this is all about connecting all different types of volcanology terms, volcano terms, and looking at the magma in more detail and how this links up with the chemistry and characteristics. So we have the magma types, which is basaltic, andesitic, dacitic, and rhyolitic. So they are based on basaltic being the runniest with lowest silica, up to rhyolitic, which is the highest silica, around 7% weight. Now we're looking at the associated viscosity, which is the resistance to flow of that liquid, in this case it's magma, and how the type of magma and the amount of silica will reflect the viscosity. You see that basaltic is very low in viscosity and runny versus rhyolitic, which is very thick and high in viscosity. And then looking at the dissolved gases that are trapped in the magma according to viscosity and the silica and linking out with the type of magma, so basaltic through to rhyolitic. So again, looking at the eruption style based on the amount of gas that is dissolved and trapped within that magma. Again, looking at how viscosity is going to affect the dissolved gases and then the resulting eruption that would follow from the release and high pressure of that trapped gas and all the pyroclastic material. So we have these eruption styles like Hawaiian and Strombolian, which is very effusive and low explosive. Then we have Volcanian and Palaean, which is a bit more explosive and the medium to high. And then we've got Plinian, which is the classic one from Vesuvius. And then we have up to Ultra Plinian, which is looking at extreme eruption event. Then we can link up the volcano type, which is looking at shield and cinder and scoria or cinder ash cone, strato or composite, and caldera. And the last one will be the lava dome. So the six main types of volcanoes we can link up with these characteristics and also with the ones above. So connecting the magma and lava types of these different types of volcanoes and we know that the magma is going to create the volcano and the shape or edifice of that volcano. So looking at shield being made by basaltic or pillow or pahoehoe, lava looking at andesitic and pahoehoe making cinder and scoria which is mostly the ash, small volcanoes, the stratos, the classic. 75% of all volcanoes are stratos or composites made of the andesitic or dacitic magma and then the aha and blocky lava and finally the calderas which are the very large ones which is very thick viscous magma which is going to be blocky lava and dacitic and rhyolitic magma. Then we've got lava domes which is basically the hardened magma again looking at aha and blocky. So we can link this to the VEI or the Volcanic Explosivity Index, how large an eruption is, scale of zero to, to eight, zero being a very small and effusive and non-explosive, eight being tragic and catastrophic. So each volcano type and magma based on the gas is linked with the VEI scale as a range. Then we get the features. So what kind of features will there be on each eruption based on the magma, based on the gas, and based on the volcano type? So in terms of the amount of pyroclastic material being released or the ejector, it's based on the ash cloud and the height and the amount of material each volcano is going to release. And this is based on the VEI scale. So VEI 0 to 1 is a very small volcano, whereas a 6 to 8 VEI scale is a catastrophic Everything is coming out in large quantities, very dangerous ash cloud, lava, tephra, landslides, earthquakes, you name it, it has it all in great 
quantity. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.